please, 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 let that be me one day. <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> How the f did I end up here? Well, I'm gonna tell you all about it. So a few weeks ago, <laughs> I basically realized now that I'm going from driving a race cart one time to driving a Formula One car in two weeks? <laughs> what am I doing? What if I go off track? What if I crash? That's probably expensive. But to be honest, my biggest fear is what if it's not fun? And maybe that sounds stupid to you. But let me explain. I've driven fast cars in the street. I've even had a few of my own. Sure, it's fun for like two minutes. And then I'm like, okay, what's next? I'm always looking for something new and I never get satisfaction. Now that's been one of my biggest problems throughout life. Okay, let's not get emotional this early in the video. But what if I spent all this money and time and I don't even get a reaction out of it for the video? I'm gonna be pissed. So a couple of videos back, I built a sim rig. And I'm, I've never been much of a game guy. And yeah, it wasn't that fun. So we had to spice it up a little. And uh, we, we put an airbag in it. So when my friend Elliot crashed it, he got an airbag in his face. Another concern for this F1 experience was how do I learn the track? And that's when the simulator comes back in the picture. Because luckily, iRacing has the track. Magnicours. That's the name of the track that I'll be driving on in real life. Magnicours. The track is in France. Vive la France! And it used to be an F1 track until around 2008, I think. The track is actually 60 years old. It has 17 turns. Vive la France. It's four and a half kilometers long. It hosted a French Grand Prix for 18 years. Michael Schumacher won eight of them. So yeah, it's a classic track. Then I was thinking, who can help me with this? Who do I know in F1? <laughs> I don't know anybody in F1. But I have a friend, Frederick. He's into F1 simulator racing. <laughs> they still have to sing. <laughs> so he came by and he uh, yeah. he taught me the basics. <laughs> and he brought his F1 style steering wheel. <laughs> so we tried to make the settings as close to reality as possible even though we didn't have the right seating position. This is a bill in a wheat bed. I want to say a big thank you to Frederick for helping me prepare for this. Getting a little feel for it and learning the track was a big help. I'm 
Men vi ska ställa upp äh, break på till till hundra. Mm. Så det är jättemycket mot som är riktigt Ja, det är, det är typ 200 kilo liksom. Man är jävligt på Alltså jag blir så jävla... Oj! So yeah, it was time to leave to France and uh, afterwards I actually checked the iRacing statistics and uh, yeah, I got 17 minutes of driving. must have had a film of the spelling of taking. Jag har ju inte hela nu, Jackie. Men jag har ju inte hela. Men vad ska vi nu då? Nu har vi kommit fram liksom. Ja. Aha, det var det. Nu åker vi hem. Han köpte sig en burnout här. Ska vi också göra det? Mm. Ser du det? Ja, vad fint. Fan också. Det var inte alls lika bra som hans. Åh! Oh. It's like a road trip. So we took a trip about three hours south of Paris in our little small beautiful Renault. We checked into our hotel, had some dinner, slept and it was finally time. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to go to the next one. I don't know if I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Thank you. Det är fortfarande mörkt. Det är skittid. Klockan är målt 20. Wow. Åh, kissen. Ser du? Åh, så. Det är för mycket lök på mig. Jag kanske ska lämna mig köra. Fast as fuck, boy! Okay, now we're going to the circuit. Oh, 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 Box. Här är här är en box. Jag fick motorstopp. Riktigt. Ah, jag fick igång den igen. Herregud. <laughs> Stopp. Det är stoppskylt. Bara. Här. <laughs> Vänta. Kan, kan det vara här? Uh, där är mängden här. Ja, men det, där får man inte köra in det enkelt riktigt. Men vad fan, där är pole position. Pole dance. Men jag har ingen annan, han sa vänster bara. Vad fan ska jag göra? Jag svängde vänster. We made it there just in time. And Jackie got a tour of the place while I changed into gear and got a guided tour of the track.
Det blir så när man är någonting man vill göra, då, blir, då vill man göra på en gång. Then we started off with driving Formula Renault or Formula 4. As if I wasn't tired of driving a Renault already. No, I'm just kidding. That was awesome. Got a closer feeling to what it was gonna be like. And I got a feeling of the track, which I actually recognized from the game. Even though I didn't get to play as much as I wanted, the track was exactly the same. I couldn't speak. I think maybe... Uh, okay. I think so. Like that? Okay. You feel good? Yep. Yes? Okay. You want uh, more? Oh, that's good. No, it's good? Yes? Yeah, much better this time. I was uh, very low last time. Lower. How does that feel, baby? So it's better? Yeah. Yes? Perfect. Thank you. What? A few dudes bought their own seats actually. I wish I bought mine. <laughs> GoPro is okay? I think so. We're gonna to push you because the starter is uh, is dead. So when we say go, release the clutch very fast, okay? So we did two of these sessions, they were around 15 minutes each, so I got a total of like 30 minutes on the track in this car. I got a little warmed up, and now after completing that, it was finally time for the Formula 1 car. And what car is it? It's the FW33 Williams car from 2011. It's not a V10. Hamilton 9, now Michael Schumacher 10, and look at that Barrichello! Okay, it's finally happening now. I I almost can't believe it, man. <laughs> okay. 
I think you can slide a bit more in the car, if you can, yeah. Okay. Am I too tall? A bit, but okay. that's okay. It's not too much. I just tried the, the headrest. Good. Put the ends like this. Yes. Thank you. Please get your hands up! Can you hear me? Yes. We push you in a big lane. Brake on, clutch. Be careful of the anti stall. You have to release really slowly the clutch. And the anti stall can also happen on the track. For example, in the airpin, if you arrive in fifth, uh, the engine breaths will be really low and mm -hmm. you can have anti stall. You see, the tires are hot, that's good, but the brakes are cold. When you finish, check a red flag, you come back in second, all the way, 20 meters from me, neutral, yes, and then kill the engine. And you have to be sure you are in neutral. It says... Uh, yeah, it's zero. Zero? Zero, okay. yes. Okay? All good? Yeah. Yes? <laughs> Camera on. And you? You are... Yeah, I think so. Yes. <laughs> All right.
Det är kul. Alltså jag gråter. Jäklar vad du är svettig. Nej jag gråter. Gör det. Ja det här var det sjukaste jag gjort. Alltså. I'm crying. Fuck I'm gonna go more. I was just getting to know how it feels. Yeah. Like the last lap must have been much faster than the second. I even locked up the tires a little in the end. I could not keep my head up. It was, it was like, in the end I tried to rest it, mm -hmm. but it was I was I couldn't see the red almost. I could see it a little. I was sitting like this. I didn't want to slow down. It was... <laughs> oh shit! He actually said he would show emotions, and, mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> it was so quick. It was so. <laughs> Nej, alltså jag ska ju inte. Det var det, det var nog det sjukaste jag gjort. Det kändes inte som att flyga eller någonting med G-kraften. Det var helt annorlunda. Jag kunde inte ha huvudet ner. Alltså det bara... Och det lät så jävla fett. Ja. Jag hörde bara, nu kommer de som måste springa. Men då kom ni redan förbi. Jag bara, fan. Alla gånger? Ja. Så jag, för jag bara ska ladda upp några procent. För jag hade fyra procent. Nej, det var bara tre Nästa gång kanske. <laughs>